Good news and bad news for Barcelona, Jules. Let's get the bad news yeah. out of the way. They're still not compliant with La Liga's cost controls, and after a very complicated legal dispute we don't need to get into, court has ruled that a clause saying Gavi can leave as a free agent in June comes back into effect. How concerned should they be? I'm very concerned, obviously, because that opens well, the door. Well, not about Gavi leaving. Well, you leave. never know. No, you don't think so. And that's, that's my, my point was coming. Right. Like, I think they should be concerned because this clause is valid and you never know what can happen. Not too concerned either because uh, you know how much he loves this club. When he arrived, obviously, quite young. He's not, he's not a Barcelona, he's not a Catalan kid, but still he would feel like home, to well, be fair. Course. And, and uh, I think he's, you, he's very attached to Xavi, to what the club is doing. He's a huge part in this current process. So you don't think that he would want to leave and, I don't know, come to Liverpool or Manchester no. City or that kind of club. However, what is, I think, more worrying, Gab, is they can't even register his new number and a new contract because they don't have the money. So for all the talks of who they're going to recruit, and we will talk about a, a player suddenly that might be coming in the next few quick hits, that has to be a Rory. What, yeah. How? You need to find the money somewhere. Right. Is it by selling an Ansu Fati or someone like that to be able to keep Gavi, to sign new players, maybe even Messi or stuff like that? I don't know. So like, Matteo Alemani, the sporting director, said, well, you know, we're halfway there when when we get the Griezmann money and GRP yeah, to retire. They but they still have other issues. There's a report the other day, Jordi Alba's owed $33 million next year in deferred payments and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, this is just all the risk of the levers. And what's ironic in all this is, guess whose contract expires in June 2024? Matteo Alemani himself. They can't even give him a new deal. Exactly. And he's the guy who's supposed to make everything work. So a lot's being That's done on trust. Yeah, yeah. Uh. But at least good news, Gab, because Spanish news agency FA reports that prosecutors in the Enriquez Negrera case, you know, the, the former vice president of the Referee Association, haven't found any evidence that those seven million paid by Barca over three seasons to Negrera was used to corrupt referees and influence games. So the source here is really important. Uh, for those who don't know, EFE is like the Reuters of Spain, right? Sometimes you quote reports in many countries, you know, I want to criticize my colleagues in the media, but they are, the clubs have been known to plant stories and yeah, whatever, yeah. one way or the other. Agent, yeah. You're not going to do that with EFE. If, if they say this, I, and I, I think it's accurate, that yeah. because it's really hard you to prove. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really difficult to prove that Enriquez Negreira took the money and started paying referees on behalf of, of, of Barcelona, right? Yeah. Um, and even if he just influenced them saying like, okay, no, let's appoint this referee, not that referee, whatever. I'd still, it's very, very hairy to go and prove anything with that. Um, you're left with the fact that then you're not corrupt. You're just stupid because you gave somebody 7 million who did nothing for you except for spend it on a lavish lifestyle, according to other stories. Yeah. Um, this, this, this story is a stain, whichever way you do it. The good news is it looks like they're unlikely to face criminal yeah. prosecution, which I think is actually probably fair enough when you think that, you know, if they can't prove it and it was several um, So they got scammed, ago. basically. <laughs> they got stammed by Enriquez Negreira. Yeah. <laughs> it's another blot yeah. on Mr. Bartomeu. Well done. Fabrizio Romano and others report that Barcelona are close to a verbal agreement to sign defender Inigo Martinez on a free transfer from Athletic Bilbao. Jules, I feel like this story's been going on for, yeah, for, for a year, yeah. right? Yeah. Can we just knock this out? Is this a good idea? 32 it years old, very good defender. Very good defenders. Very good defender, but... Do you need it, another center back? Yeah, is this, is this a priority? Is it really where you need to strengthen, considering how little room you have to strengthen your squads? Or certainly what not right now. I'm not so sure you already have Kunde, even if you play him at right back more often than, than a centre back. Arojo, who we said is one of the best defenders in Europe already. You've got Christensen who's having a really good season. You've got Marcos Alonso who can play there, who's left footed by you the way. You haven't mentioned Eric yet. I don't want to mention him. <laughs> I mentioned Eric Garcia, okay. I'm all for I, I love Inigo Martinez and <laughs> Although I've, I feel a bit sad for Athletic Bilbao if they don't get any money from someone who they clearly nurtured and went through the academy, etc. Blah blah blah. Anyway, um, he's, he's 32. He's given. He's 32. Them some yeah, yeah. Good, and and to be life. fair, he arrived from another club before too. So, but still, uh, yeah. I this is not the position I would have strengthened if I no. was Matteo Alemani, but I'm not Matteo <laughs> Alemani. So. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.